let's make some small tiles for Zone Mortalis. You're going to need to grab yourself some cardstock. The link is in the description for the stuff I recommend. I buy in packs of 25 sheets for £13 and they last ages. You'll also want your sharp knife, such as a Stanley blade or an X-Acto knife. Be careful, fingers are better intact. You'll also want some cheap and cheerful PVA glue. You're going to want two squares per tile. One square to act as the base and one square that you're going to cut details into. Cut as many squares as you need for your overall tile. You'll not need more than 72 squares to make up the 36 tile layout, which is the maximum you'll need. Each square that I make is 45 millimeters on each side. I can normally get about 60 squares out of a sheet of A3 card. Next, mark up your designs that you want to cut out. A tip that I have to save you time is to draw one of each design you want to use, no more than four designs per main tile, otherwise it just gets messy looking, and cut that out. Then, use the square you've cut out as a template to mark the rest of the squares ready for cutting. Cut carefully and cut straight. Use a steel ruler if you're not confident at cutting straight lines. But after a bit of practice, like me, you'll feel comfortable enough to just cut the lines without it if you wish. Put on some tunes in the background and get lost in the rhythm of cutting your tiles. It's really very therapeutic. Next, get your glue. You won't really need too much, so don't go too over the top. And start attaching your cut squares to your base squares. If you're going to use sculptor's mesh like I have in some of my small tiles, then simply cut them to size, roughly 40 millimeters, so slightly smaller than the squares of the card, and get some small bulldog clips. They're normally available for pennies and stationery kits full of paper clips, rubber bands, and drawing pins. I construct the tiles in pairs, and then placing them back to back, I put the bulldog clips on to pinch them together and put pressure on the cardboard squares until the glue bites. That usually only takes about two minutes. I typically do this twice, so I make four squares with mesh and then I move on to make four squares without. Usually by the time I've made the four squares without, I can remove the bulldog clips without the problem of the squares coming apart. Use your knife to pry the two tiles apart if any of the glue is bonded where you didn't want it to. Repeat the process until you're all assembled. And there you go, that's how to easily make the small tiles for your bigger projects. Not bad for something that costs about 3 pence, or 4 cents depending on where you are. Just remember to give the glue time to cure fully before using your tiles on the bigger parts of your project. You don't want to be trying to fix things when you don't need to. If you liked the video and found it useful, please hit the like button. If you enjoy the channel, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you never miss a video. Thanks for watching.